is no good oh uh, your notes are flat your voices are not good enough for what i want to do i'm afraid i have to tell your uncle i can't work with this okay please sir don't write us off just yet we'll improve you know we'll go back to the studio and work on our voices what studio before i get to the studio i'm already on the road i own a record label i hardly allowed your audience because your uncle is a friend of mine sir we recorded in a very poor studio Maybe we should sing here so that you can assess our natural voicing, sir. Yes. So, okay, just watch us sing. Listen to us. Listen, I'm a busy man. Give it to me straight. Let's see what you got. I'll give you my heart And I'll give you my soul To be with you for the rest of your life and i'll give you my life because i want to be your wife to be with you for the rest of your life oh tell me something you've never heard and i'll give to you hey, what is going on here um and who are these dumb skulls? Um, listen, um, my neighbor down the road, the nieces, um, the bromide at them want me to listen to it. Continue, guys. Oh, like hell you are! In the private comfort of your home, Jay! Oh, so the studio space is no longer big enough for you to try them out at? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with doing it in my home? They live just down the road, I know their uncle. Oh, you don't see what's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. Now look here, you cockroaches. I need you to gather yourselves together, look for a cupboard to fit in, and then you can constitute your pet there. Now, I need you to get the hell out of this place. You made me gasp! Let's go, let's go. Hey, Jay, Jay, What is wrong with you? Was that necessary? You keep forgetting this is my house. I can do what I please. Well, Jay, if you claim that I'm your girlfriend, then you must treat me with a lot of respect and start bringing loose women from the street into this place just because you leave alone. Oh, come on, Bernice. I've been going out with you for, what, four months now? I've never, not once, thought of cheating on you. You think I'll start now? You have issues. Well, I know. I... See... I just wanted to make sure that you remain that way for me, okay? So why are you always acting on what's with the war thing? Is it the red? Day. No, it's not. It's well, not, it's not the red. So what is it? I'm just a little. <laughs> just a little what? Okay, well, I need more love and more attention. <laughs> what no love that. Okay. Well, I don't know what I can't recall you informing me you were Mom, I told you and Dad I was moving in with my fiancé. And I can't still remember your father and I giving approval to that stupid idea of yours. Mom, you and Dad are a okay for crying out loud, okay? I mean, we're in the computer age and in the modern way of courtship, couples moving together in order to understand each other better. Couples? Yeah. My understanding of that word, my dear, it's two people 
legally married to each other. See, that's why I say you're a king now. And who is the professor that is about to lecture us on courtship? Your daughter. She has given herself permission to move in with that boy. Pranis, you are not about to disobey your parents, are you? Dad, you and mom should try and understand that I really do need this. I mean, apart from the fact that Jay is a prolific music producer with a lot I can learn from, I really do need a conducive space for my rehearsal. Oh, come on, baby girl. Come on. Those excuses are as watery as the type of soup you cook in this house. Dad! Yes! You did all your rehearsals to get to the stage of this competition right in this house. So don't give me that music producer crap. Listen, as your manager, I have said it a thousand times, you are not going to sign on to his record company. Dad, I am not signing on to his record company, okay? Like I said, all I need is a conducive space for rehearsal, that's all. All right? And you know the semi-finals is, is, is a crucial stage for me and I really do need to perform well. Plus, I don't want to bug you with all of the noise I've been bugging you with in the few weeks. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. There it is. If he loves you so much and he wants you to move in with him, then let him come and do the proper thing by paying your diary. Mom, Jane will come and pay my diary pretty soon, alright? Seriously, there's no point for this argument. It's absolutely unnecessary. I don't want you guys to get worried, okay? Plus, you know I'm a good girl. Bernice! Bernice! I forbid you to leave this house! What in the name of God is the matter with this girl? She definitely inherited your stubbornness, like father, like daughter. Oh, Benis! Benis! That's a very ridiculous question, Jay. I mean, isn't it obvious that I'm moving in? Listen, I don't recall having that kind of conversation with you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I didn't know that moving into my fiancé's house or moving in with my fiancé is going to be an issue that requires such a laborious protocol. Listen, nobody said that. Not necessarily. But the thing is that maybe one of these days, I don't know, maybe a year, ten years from now, you may deem it fit to want to discuss some of these drastic moves with me before you make them. You know? What are you afraid of, Jay? Huh? Oh, that my presence in this house is going to mess things up for you and those little girls that come in here pretending to be artists? Well, too bad for them because I am here to give a decent touch to this place. 
You know, baby, maybe one of these days you might think it cool to let me win one argument. You know? Well, maybe. Um, can you please help me with my bag inside? Whoa, babe, did you put a dead body in here or something? <laughs> yeah, whatever, let's go. That's easy for you to say, let's go. <laughs> in this neighborhood. Bernice, I said I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. I wasn't looking. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're so blinded by your own stupidity. You couldn't even see where you were driving. And I bet you don't even have a valid driving license because you're so dumb you couldn't even pass a simple driving test. You know, Bernice, I would really appreciate it if you don't haul insults at me, okay? I already said I'm sorry. How else do you want me to apologize? Give me the car key. What? You heard me. I said give me the car key. Look, Bernice, I know you still bear grudges with me because of the fate you suffered in my hands the other time. But now you're taking it too far. For crying out loud, if I hurt you, get into the car and let me take you to a hospital so you can get some medication. Oh, so this is your new game, right? This is your new game, you cheap cheat. Oh, so now that we're here face to face in a real competition, you can't even face me. You know why? Because there's nobody here to help you cheat. Look, Bernice, I beat you once, fair and square. I don't need to cheat to beat you again. I don't need to injure you either. I will beat you again, fair and square. What are you doing? Well, you will bleed through your nose before you have this car back. Venice. Venice. What are you doing? Venice. Stop. You know, you didn't have to do this. Come on. You're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. You're turning this competition to a do or die affair. Well, it is a do or die affair, Jay. And I want you to stay out of it. That low life girl deliberately tried to maim me, okay? She'll do anything to win that competition. Baby, you can't prove it. It's all about proof. You can't do it. I think the only reason you really, really hate this girl is because she thinks she's going to beat you in this competition. Oh, she is not a threat to me, Jane. You know that. Then start treating her like one. She's not competition. Treat her like one. You pay too much attention to her details. That's the problem. Okay, something happened to both of you in university. Why don't you get over it and move on with your life? Come on. You've matured now. Why don't you do something legal? Like try and sue her for this. The way you're going, that girl will sue you and win again. Jane. I hate it when you hit hard at me like that. Oh, I get it. Is it because I've not hit stardom yet? 
Well, let me tell you something. Bet here, right here, right now. Okay? In a few months' time, if I hit the limelight, even you'll be dying to get my autograph. Jesus. Mama B, you see some of the most unbelievably lame stuff? You hate to deal with the truth. Listen, this here is the problem. Return this car. It will bring you grief and not a solution. I'm not returning it. You're not going to return I'm the car? I'm not returning the car. Okay. I try, don't I? I really try. Do whatever you want to do. You hear me? love my baby so much you have decided to confiscate it. Here, I brought you the documents. Original documents. There, you can have it. Just see it as my little hand of charity in your needy life. And should in case you need my chip also, I can sew it in your life. But watch it. As for that competition, I will beat you, Dennis, even if it is the last thing I do. Look for trouble in this city. Me, how can someone park right in front of someone's entrance? I don't even know this car. It doesn't look fun. Felix! Madam. What is going on here? You get on my weapon. I tell her Simi she come out and she no agree. You tell him Simi she come out and she no agree. And then you allowed her to go? How do you expect me to get into the compound now? Uh, uh, what have you been doing? Uh, hmm? uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. I should have known it would be you. Classless chick. If you ask me, this is an imitation of something that's already been done. A cocky chicken like you. Oh, look who's talking about class here. You think you can display class in me with this your daddy's inherited third rated Jeep? You see this truck right here? It costs three times the price of this your so-called toy. <laughs> Thank you. Now that you have made your point, do you think you can move this borrowed, painted caterpillar out of my gateway? Not until you've gone to remove the refuse dump you call a car from my compound. Your compound? Yeah, my boyfriend's house is also my house. <laughs> okay, finally. I'm glad you admit that that is your boyfriend's compound and that everything you represent and display belongs to somebody else. Sweetie, at least I have an inheritance. Hmm? What have you? And who are you? Glorified handbag. <laughs> Glorified handbag indeed, girl. Donis, let, let me ask you. How do you move around? I mean, go around with ego desires. She borrowed it. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> One of these days, girl, I will put your sorry ass into its proper position. Just you wait and see. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you, Bernice. Oh, just you wait. Oh, 
Where is she going? Are you going to leave this trash in front of my house? Come down here! Come and get this nonsense out of my house! Please stop! No, this is not happening. Run, she has to do something about this thing. Are you here? No, 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 I don't mean that! I mean... What are you doing? What are you doing? I suppose the owner of this car lives here? Yeah, that would be me. Good. My name is JJ. I know. I was actually hoping your girlfriend would return my car herself. I was really looking forward to furthermore displacing some of those misplaced ego of hers. Listen, I really don't know where both of you are going with this aggression, okay? But I just hope it's for the competition. I was not in the country when um, you had your preliminaries, but um, I can say something for sure. Bernice is the best. <laughs> okay. Well, so I think, um, um, I'm sure you're kind of hurt yourself or hurt to um, think you're such a big threat. Hmm. I see you rate your girlfriend really highly. What I don't know is if she ever told you that I beat her once. Could you kindly take this message to her that I am going to beat her again? Hmm? Confidence, um, well, it's a good thing. It don't hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. But here's what I have to say. I'm going to leave an open mind about this whole fiasco and an open book, my diary. Then I'll fill in every detail of this competition, especially the next round of your bout. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, nice sense of humor. Okay, so um, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Forgive my manners. Do you want to come in? I just rushed out to pick up my bag mm. that I forgot in my car when your girlfriend came around and pissed me off. So, <laughs> you guys deserve each other. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I'm afraid I have to take a rain check on that one, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the studio in the next couple of hours. That, that's good. Um, your car, I'm sorry I packed it on the street. You, you're gonna have to do it in your sorry. Thank right. you very much for bringing it anyway. Blessings. Yeah. My key, please. Oh, ho, ho, my bad. Um, yeah. This will be yours. No, this is mine, right? Um, no, this is yours. Okay. Okay. We're sure now, right? Cool. You need to move that, though. You can move back. was just telling me that uh, this baby's of a girl just had another face off with me. Can you imagine? Just yesterday right here, yesterday here, I was just driving my car and then I opened my door and it mistakenly hit this girl. Do you know what she did to me? She practically seized my key. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is not funny. This is not funny. 
she seized my key and actually drove my car to her boyfriend's <laughs> car. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, 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 wait, wait. Seriously, girl, I am not <clears throat> surprised. <laughs> Given the way she has been carrying herself around the you estate know, lately, like, like, you know, over pampered one at that, you know. Ever since she moved in with that boyfriend of hers, I don't get it. You know, seriously, girls, why, why do men, you know, why do men not know the kind of girls to camp? It beats me. Why? Both of them are probably the same type, you know, birds of the same feather, sesame twins, flogging together. Oh, see, that girl is a big fool. Of course she is. Well, She's still carrying the spill over of the fish she suffered in your hand back in school. Oh. Yeah, forgotten that she has the rest of us here to contend with. But come on, face. This year's competition is going to be fun. Especially mm -hmm. with that hike in the price. Do it for 100,000 US dollars. No, but seriously, girl, girl, for real. Um, hey, girls, girls, girls. I didn't forget. Girls. Girls. Ah, so sorry to bust you, but please. Hands up. Is it that 100? Thousand dollars. It belongs to more. is something else i'm telling you if beyonce were to hear this she's gonna do a remix with you like that you actually think so you know i think i'm just as good as beyonce i just don't have the kind of opportunity that she has to express myself see that's why i need to win this year's competition jay yeah but you know that's the whole point okay you don't need to win this competition to be anything big you know that's why i threw my recording company's doors open and but what did you do you refused to sign jay Look, I said it before and I'm saying it again, no, okay? See, this is not just about me. Look, my father is my manager and he wants bigger things for me and I totally agree with that. Once I win this year's competition, bigger companies will come running after me. Well, look at Sapphire. She's already signed on to one of the biggest recording companies in America just by winning last year's competition. So what about if you don't win? Have you considered that? There are eight other competitors in that game. It's not only Ryan you need to worry about, you know? Jay, that is out of the question. You know I'm the best. Yeah, no. No, you have a voice like none other, but the thing is, I just hope your father stroke manager knows what he's doing. I don't want all this to bounce back on you, you know. Come on, honey. I mean, you already have all of me. Your recording company must not have me as well. Okay? Yeah, okay, but um, I don't want you going through all that stress. You know, I'm going to support your dreams regardless, right? Okay, well, <clears throat> trust me, okay? When I make it big, you'll be so proud of me. And you love me even more when I'm independent of you, okay? I don't want you to be independent. Simone Records is the best place to be. They know how to make their artists feel at home. Are you serious? Look at you, girl. Oh my girl, I envy you. You know, see, America is one of the places I know I can make my dreams a reality. See, that's why I must win this year's competition so I can explode just like you. You have only text, girl. So what are you waiting for? So tell me, what? how are the rehearsals coming out? Well, the music aspect is okay. It's just the dance moves. I need to step up on that for a bit. I mean, 
I was just waiting for you to return so I can teach you how to do those your Shakira hip moves. Mm -hmm. you know? I know. I, I have all the time in the world now. Great, so we can start tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I already booked the studio time of the club. I just was waiting for you to return. You know, the club is the best place to rehearse. It gives you the right atmosphere for the competition. I don't want to dampen all that reunion thing and all that, but listen, okay? I see a conspiracy here to get my grown up to sign on my label, the best label in the whole world, and that's messed up. Believe me, Jay, with what I saw at Simmons, you have a very long way to go. What yeah. Idea. And you know, Benny's class doesn't belong here. Yeah. You are oh, oh, it, Jay! Uh, yo, 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 hold up with me, hold up with me. Ain't to hollow, my girl. Miss Thing, hang on. This right. is not going to be taken. Not by an OG. Come here, baby, let me holler at you. Go for a second. I'll hide up here. There's only one person capable of putting her in that mood. Don't tell me. You had another confrontation with Bernice. Who else? Who else is capable of putting me in this kind of mood? Would you believe that that girl and some nasty friend of hers actually came to disrupt my rehearsal right now at the club? What? I'm telling you. Who the hell does that girl think she is? A full blown cockroach? Trust me, girls. If cockroaches could speak, no one would be as uncouth as that babe. You call that in a babe? <laughs> Who is her friend? Her friend? I don't know her. Some dark girl like that. I think they call her Sophia. She actually thinks she's Shakira. <laughs> well, I heard from Vanya that the girl could move. Really? Oh. Please. And she wants some sort of um, dancing thing back in the days. Really? And I suspect she's the one coaching Bernice on some moves for this competition. That's their headache. Trust me. That girl only won that competition because people like us were not in it. Well, to be precise, someone like me. <laughs> anyway, she is still a threat to all of us. She's not a threat to me, she's a threat to you. Da -da. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. So what did you do? You mean you allowed those things to ride you just like that? No, 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 no. The battle is not over. <laughs> Trust me, I only rushed here to come meet up with you girls and eat. But obviously, you're not even waiting for me. Yeah, no, it's not over yet. I'm going to go back. Yeah, you need some food so that you can fight. I'm not eating out of your food. <laughs> no, you I'll have yours and then you can go fight. Alright, um, that's it. Your time is up. It's time for my rehearsal. Thank you. Get out. No. Are you actually ordering me out? Are you retarded or something? <laughs> Don't you have a wristwatch? It's time for my rehearsals now. Okay, yours is over, so get out. Step. <laughs> no, can you believe this thing? No, I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you, you've got so... Oh, I see you're here with your two fools to intimidate me, isn't it? Look here. I am not trying. I am trying so hard to tolerate you here. If you dare open down your rotting mouth again to talk to me, I am going to pick the living daylight out of you. What can you do? Yes. What can you do? Nothing. Look, you're not even ashamed of yourself. Sniffing about with this thing like jobless puppies when you should be doing your own work as in rehearsals and see if you can manage to come last in the competition. Loser. <laughs> you don't know, no, Sapphire, Sapphire. Imagine. This is my fight. Let me handle it. This fool's actually came for me. So, I got this. And I'd like to put you maggots into your proper positions right now. So you're ready to fight it? Oh yeah. Oh, 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 Jay, 
I promise to come and watch my rehearsal. Oh. Um, yeah, I remember. Um, listen, babes, I really meant to come, but I got caught up doing some things in the studio. I've been there all day. And you're not going to believe about 10 artists sent me these demos, and they're all rubbish. Every one of them, total rubbish. Oh, what I need is, in, you know, very good talent. Something but he hurt. That is all I get these days, Jay. That is all I get. You'd rather abandon my important rehearsal just so you can watch these so-called up-and-coming artists. I bet you another set of girls, Jay. Oh, come on. Can't you ever think beyond that? Look at it this way. You refuse to sign on my label. I have to run out there and run my business. As well as take care of you. That's a little too much, don't you think? Hey, hey, look at me. What's that scratch on your face? Did you get into another fight? Huh? What do you care? And it contains way too much caffeine for you. It's not good for you, you know that. Again, what do you care? This is my problem, not yours. But guess whose problem is going to be when you break down and then I have to pay the bills. Listen, listen, okay. okay. You know what? I'm sorry I snapped at you. You've obviously had a bad day. So did I. Okay? Well, come over here, tell me how you... Got into a taekwondo fight or something. Talk to daddy. Come on. No. No. Just like that? Yeah, no. Man, you're cold. Come back to Sumptuous buddy. Thank you, sir. Enough to see you straight into the finals. Thank you, sir. Meet me tonight. Stop going to tell. Okay? I will, sir. Please, sir. Don't fail me. I really need to win this competition. Of course I won't. You just put up your best performance in there tonight and take the rest of us. I'll see you. Bye bye, sir. That's number three for me. So I get the next one. Mm. Good day, sir. I saw your message on my box, so I... Oh, relax. It's nothing official. Oh, okay. Man, she's done. She's so slick. How she was swap? That's your problem. You are too greedy. Hmm? Don't mind the naughty guy. Strip. Sorry, sir. Oh, come on, baby. Take off your clothes. It's part of the show. We need to assess your natural endowments. So I'll take off my clothes? Listen, girl. You are going to sleep with me tonight. Else, kiss your dreams goodbye. Girlfriend. If you know that in life, nothing goes for nothing. You use what you have to gain what you want. Listen, 
It's a fair game of natural justice. Why don't you just play along and see yourself in the finals? That's it. Please, Hans. Please, I beg you. Please don't do this to me. Look, I can win this competition. I have talent. I have enormous talent. I can win by my own strength and skill. All I need is for you to just give me a chance. Just give me an opportunity to prove myself. Oh, strength and skill indeed. You tell me that after the display of your skill and your strength, you end up judging yourself. No, sir. Not to take off this look. Let's even see the kind of body you have in there. Just do it. There's nothing. Please, sir, I beg you. I beg you, I, I can be the best winner you've ever had in this competition. I can represent this company anywhere in the world. I, I, I can I, I can grow. Next. Somebody had a bad day. Imagine those two deranged perverts that call themselves managers asking me to sleep with them if I want to make it to the finals of the competition. What? Yeah, right there in their stinking office. They actually asked me to strip so they can look at my naked body. Girl, tell me you're joking, okay? Tell me somebody messed like that with you. You're joking, right? Tell me something, Jay. Is that what you do before you sign on new female artists? You ask them to strip so you can look at them? Jesus, Bernie, what is wrong with you? Are you trying to flip this on me? Listen, this is serious, and I probably have to take this up with these guys. I am very, very sure that slut is already sleeping one of them, if not both of them. Who, um, Rhyme? Yeah, who else? I saw her leaving the office and the expression on those guys' faces said it all. What? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. That's her pastime game. And that's exactly what she did to win the university competition. Okay, baby, um, you know what we need to do? Let's go inside, sit down, talk this over. I'm sure I know what to do. Jay, you better do something, okay? You better do something because I am not going to let anybody intimidate me out of that competition. And I sure as hell will not let Rhyme take my victory. So what if Bernice is a girl, JJ? If she doesn't want to play along like every other girl, tell her to stay out of the competition. Period. It's not your bloody place to decide who stays or leaves the competition. I'm telling you that. The girl got there on merit. She deserves to be there. Well, that is just how far merit can get anyone. Isn't it? This is unbelievable. This is a gross exhibition of unprofessionalism. I thought you guys were credible people. No organization can run like this. Look at this guy. Who the hell are you to come here and pull a moral face to us? You think I don't know about your various immoral escapades with those babes you sign up on your level? Give me a break, JJ. Try something else. Watch your tongue. Go and mind your business, JJ. This is our show, and we are entitled to our own benefits. Bernice, your girlfriend, is free to withdraw from this competition if so desires. It's a free world. You guys are really pushing me. I don't believe this. The only reason I allowed that girl on this competition is because I thought you guys were credible people. What is all this? Now you listen to me, JJ. $100,000 is enough incentive for any gifted talent to be part of our show. And your base is only a drop of sand in the crowd. I mean, who would have missed her in a crowd of over 5,000 people we had? And the competition from the zona level. Alright, you wanna play it that way? Well let me explain the way it is. What it is is that you guys know that I have the power and the resources to take that girl anywhere I deem necessary. So if you want to start playing these monkey games, we'll play it. I'll still get her where she wants to be. But for you two losers, believe me, I'm taking you down. Go to hell, suit yourself. Go to hell. Can you share one? 
crazy. <laughs> Typical of me. My <laughs> supposed to be going for rehearsals. Okay, why are you still lying down? Girl, talk to us now. What's up? What use is it? What's the point of being for this rehearsal for playing up loud? So you can go give yourself some hawks to touch your body and do whatever they want to do to you. God forbid, I would rather get raped by a madman than to submit my nakedness to those irresponsible lunatics. Girls, what, what kind of competition is this? I mean that I should degrade my womanhood just because I want to become a star. Well, I believe I can be anything I want to be, you know, with or without them. I've worked very hard for this. I've worked pretty hard for this competition. I believe I have done everything within my power to merit getting to the semi-finals. How could I just give up like that? How can I just say goodbye to this competition at this stage? How? How can it end like this? This, this competition is, is not a do or die affair. Because I have stopped worrying about things I have no control over. And I suggest you to do the same. Except you don't believe in yourselves. I swear, I will never take part in any talent hunt show again. They are all the same. This is a terrible eye opener for all of us. You know what I don't understand about this whole thing is, why are they doing this now? I mean, they could have done this during the preliminaries. Well, we could have decided to walk or stay, you know? Why are they doing this at this stage? Why now? Why now? Because they are bloody smart. They feel now that the stakes are higher for us. They know that the desperate ones among us will simply fall. Yes, please. No one is dead yet. Ah, there's something to do now. I hope there's something. Me too, Nicole. Okay. You won't find anything in that fridge, right? You said what? You will not find anything in that fridge. Yeah, let's go out and buy something. I'm I not hate going this out I thought over your... My proposal, I think. Yes, your proposal, and I decided to come. Smart. He says, um, why don't you just hold the one reception while I discharge my guest? Nicole! Jesus Christ, this girl! You are such a two-faced, deceitful... Let's shut it, okay? Bella, you are not here to visit your sick mother in the hospital, are you? Exactly what I thought. In this life, we are all given chances. And this is one chance that I intend to grab with both hands. <laughs> Nicole, I guess I just have to bet her in this game of chance. There is only one prize here to be won. And I, Bella, 
intent to wait. Girl. Well, this game is getting more and more interesting. show your filthy face in my house you know you are the most beautiful babe amongst all the contestants you have a fantastic voice and your steps are tight it will be a real waste to see this combination of talents in you flushed down the drain let me help you oh really just like you and your other Gigo Lowe's would have told every other person in this competition, right? Now, let me tell you. You and all your friends can take your stupid talent hunt show and shove it down your throats for all I care. As for me, I am no more interested in this competition. You know, that's a big lie you just told yourself. I know a dangerously ambitious talent when I see one. And I've been following you right from the beginning. This competition is your dream opportunity to hit international limelight. I know you need it badly. And I can see it in your eyes. It's raging like wildfire in your eyes. Get out. Get out of my house right now. And don't you ever come near me or my home again. Is that clear? Get out. Oh, really? I wouldn't have thought your friends, Nicole and Bella, we are smarter. They are ready in the finals. Yeah. Two slots are gone. And that makes your position even tighter. I suggest you seek their advice. A strange way to respond to our greetings. 
strange, Bella. Let me tell you both what is strange. That both of you have qualified for the finals before anybody else in that competition even had the chance to pick up the microphone is what is strange. Right. If you have something to say, why don't you just come out and say it? Because I absolutely have no idea what you're talking about. Really? I don't. Or, or do you? Bella, search me. Okay. Duke and Kane, remember them? Please, I beg you, do not add lies to it. It only makes you look more worthless, okay? Just come out with the truth for once. I'm listening. Are you all right, Ryan? Listen, girl. I detest this insulting insinuation of yours. Really? Yes. Come out straight. Remember them? So? Both of you actually went behind my back to sleep with those rotten two. Are you going to deny it? Because Cain came here and told me himself. He came here and told me by himself. Deny it. Girl, I suggest you come out straight. Because I take strong exception to this insult of yours. How can you be this callable? As if you don't know how lecherous those guys could be. They could say or do anything to lay us to their bed. Abi? This is absolutely ridiculous. Because same idiot came to my house this morning and said those exact words about you. What? That I slept with him? No, 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 no. That you slept with both of them. Why do I feel like the stupid one for not believing him? My God! Those two bastards are just wickedly dangerous. Of course you don't believe that crap, do you? Shouldn't I? Of course not. But you believe him about me. Sorry, okay. Let's have be. I'm really sorry. I'm just. I'm just so confused and depressed about this whole thing. I don't even know what to believe or think anymore. This is not the best way to present this to you. I'm traveling. What? Yeah, I'm leaving this weekend. And I don't think I'm coming back. Come on, Brian. It's just a failed competition that left a bad taste in our mouths. You don't understand. This whole environment just feels stifling to me. I mean, one can't even explore one's potential on merit and, and, and make headway. I just feel like someday one will be forced to compromise, you know? But I thought you won the competition in the university on merits or oh, didn't you excuse me just a question look i don't even want anybody trying to talk me out of this right now my ticket is already bought it's this weekend my auntie is waiting for me i'm going to Barbados. Uh, look i'm sorry i wasn't even going to tell you to because i thought you know? You know, let me just get a bottle of chocolate. Good regions to bad rubbish she could ask me. <laughs> she and that Bernice girls, they've always been a nightmare to me in this competition. Listen, go. You're thinking too dangerously for my liking. I wonder what I have to do to eliminate you from that fine house. <laughs> Make no mistake, Bella. You cannot stand between me and that hundred thousand dollars. That is my ticket to stardom. And no one is gonna stand between me and hitting stardom. Let's watch. Can you help 
Okay. Oh, on special wine. Not exactly. Not so, girl, you serious about this traveling thing? Yes, I am. My mind is already made up. Okay, I'm not going to talk you out of it. Don't. But, thank you. Have you really made up your mind? They've got their eyes on the prize. Some will make a great sacrifice. They're ready to do all it takes. Even if some mistake, just to get the ultimate prize. That no matter how many men or how many folks that you guys raise their filthy beds, I will beat you guys to the first prize. And you know why? Because I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Jesus. The race you can make, you gotta have talent. If you wanna be a winner, if you haven't got, if you haven't got, then you don't have, then you don't have the race is for. Hello? Hi, Adams. Uh, yeah, listen, listen. Um, I'm sorry, I can't make that flight anymore. Yeah, I won't be traveling anymore. Can you do me a favor? Can you cancel that flight for me? Yeah. Look, it, it, no, if it's any trouble, don't worry about the refund. Just let it go. Yeah. Look, I will explain everything to you when I see you the best way I can. I can't go into any explanations right now. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for the inconveniences. I'm, I co I'm cursing you right now. Okay. All right. is most unsettling to say the least because my company is identified the world over with super corporate brands so i'm not going to sit here and allow its image that i spent several years to build tarnished overnight by your un uncontrollable amorous appetite believe me sir this whole allegation is as strange to us as it is to you ken and i are highly disciplined professional events managers I cannot take that for a piece of some flesh from anybody. I sincerely hope so. And that will be for your own good. Otherwise, I would not hesitate to withdraw my company sponsorship from this talent hand project. With due respect, sir, Rafi personally insulted that J of all people will come here to scandalize our professional and moral integrity before you. J. You thank your stars that this whole issue has not gone public. Otherwise, I will sue you for every penny you are worth. You think you will win? My girl recounted every bit of what you told her. All the dirty stuff you said to her. And the day we met out there, you guys said the same thing. You actually said to tell her to play along or she can opt out of the competition. Goodness. Gee, how desperately cheap you and your girl can get sometime. Watch your mouth. Jeez. <laughs> you disappoint me, Jay. You've just destroyed all the high regards I had for you. To me, you are nothing but a worthless piece of tissue paper. Can your mouth back up your balls? 
啊？啊？你这干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干嘛？干
Oh, should I lock the no, door? No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Of course, you've been doing quite impressive in that area. I mean, I'm talking about your heart. Deep inside your heart. My heart? Yes, your heart. I don't understand. Are you such a dumb? You really have to find a way to protect your position if you must win. Get my drifts. Get my drifts. Stop getting on my nerves. Yes, but you know I'll do anything like I'm already doing. Now, listen, listen very, very carefully. Someone or some persons might come asking you questions about our relationship. Like what, sir? Oh. Are you sort of daft? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, if anyone comes ask you questions like, um, you know, whether my partner or I made any advances to you in regards to this competition. No. Seal your lips. Do you, do you understand me? Yes, sir. What did I say? You said if your partner should make advances at me, I should keep my mouth shut. <sighs> now I see you a bigger fool than I thought. I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. If you like, mess things up for us. Mess things up and kiss your dream goodbye. Oh, please. Sorry. Listen, listen, listen. What is this you're doing? So you're angry at me. I'm not angry now. I'm not angry. I said keep your mouth shut if anyone come asking stupid questions. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Hold, hold on. This is 20,000 seconds. Buy yourself whatever. Keep your mouth to see. Do you understand me? Thank you, Emily. I'll see you later. Oh. Just go, 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 go. I'll see you later. Now you're talking. Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay. I'll be expecting a call from your bank. All right. Bye-bye. I'm really sorry to have kept you waiting. It's nothing, sir. I know the call was quite important. Oh, yes. You can say that again. Um, now to the issue. Yeah. Um, I've spoken to virtually all the girls left in the competition and a few of them who have been eliminated. And you know what? I really can't help but wonder that except for Ben is your fiance, no one else corroborated your allegations. Well, that is not surprising, sir. Um, the reason is not far-fetched. I mean, $100,000 is more than enough incentives for women of no virtues at all to want to close their lips. I don't think so. Because it is almost impossible to imagine that 8 out of 10 girls will be so easily compromised. Except that it's just a few of them who were approached. Um, 8? I was under the impression there were more. Not exactly. I was informed that one of them withdrew from the contest and went to join her family in Barbados. See. I think in the absence of incriminating evidence, we have to let things be the way they are. Ross, I'm afraid I don't um, echo your sentiments this time, truthfully. You see, you're a man that has built this organization through sheer hard work and brilliance. And I don't want you to go down on account of some people that really don't know how to comport themselves properly. Well, I haven't said that, you know, I'm, I'm not a person that don't um, speak lightly. I will not come out here and throw baseless accusations except something truthfully happened. But I'm willing to let the life for now until something comes up. Okay. All right, so listen, it was great talking with you. I'm really thankful for spending some time to listen to you. I appreciate it. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. Okay, Chief, I'll talk to you sometime. Okay. <laughs>
unsolicited visit from you. Oh, come on, Dad. You never told me you disowned me already, so I don't see the reason why I shouldn't come visit my parents. No. You disowned this family the very moment you stepped out through that door to cohabit with that boy against my consent. Oh, please! You are no longer entitled to call me that. Okay. If that's how you want it, fine. I have not come to see my father. I have actually come to see my manager. Or you no longer want to manage me anymore. <sighs> you know what? You are even crazier than I thought. Sometimes I wonder if I'm truly your father. And what is that supposed to be? Listen, Dad, I need your advice on something very, very important. Look, my stake in the music dance competition is currently under serious jeopardy. Are you listening to me? I will not speak with you, whether as a father or your manager, until I've seen and spoken to that boy who lacked the courtesy to seek my consent before adopting you to his house. Now, if you don't mind, leave my house. What? I said, leave my house! Okay. That's how you want it. I'll leave. How was your day today? I mean, did I tell you you're looking very, very nice? Well, not um, when I was leaving though. You were not talking to me. Well, you're looking very, very nice. Well, somebody's excited. What's up? Anyways, since when is it a crime to give my baby a warm welcome? Well, not if he's used to it. If he's not used to it, I'm confused. What's the catch? What's all the excitement for? All right, scratch it. Listen, something came up earlier. Um, I went to see my parents, and they actually want to see you. What would they want to see me for? What's wrong? Huh? Is it is, is there a problem? Do you, you know what I mean. Is there um, you know, problem, problem? Or are you pregnant? Jay. Yeah, what else would you want? You're, you're acting like you're afraid of something. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm just, uh, you know. I mean, if you are say so, we'll know how to handle it. No. I'm, 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 I'm curious. You know? No, I'm not pregnant. Okay, I'm not pregnant. You're not pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> okay, so what's this all about? <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> my dad, I mean, my manager, wants to approve my signing onto your record label. Oh, that, really? Yeah. What's a good thing, you know? The way you mess with my head making it look like this stuff was serious. No, you, were, big... you were the one that was acting like it was a big deal. You know. Hey, I love I start... you. Mm, I love you more. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So, okay, well. We can go tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow evening is fine. Tell me something, Jay. Mm -hmm. What exactly are you to my daughter? Um. Well, um, well, we're lovers. She's my fiance. 
And I suppose that in your village it is proper to camp a woman when you're not yet legally married to her, right? Well, well, camp is not exactly the terms. I, I, I'm not camping now, you see. I, I'm well, 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 well. I'll take it that you are both secretly wedded without the consent of her family. If not, you wouldn't be camping a woman that you have not paid a bride price. Well, I am. Um, I, well, I, you see, I, I don't have any logical explanations, uh, really. The thing is, I'm really sorry uh, if I've caused any embarrassment to your family and your person. It, it's just. For a fact, I mean, Bernice and I love each other deeply and we really intend to get married. Right, baby? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about it every night. So when do you intend to come and pay her diary? Or do you have any problem affording it? No, 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 no. Um, that's the least of the problem. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. Money is not the issue. I, I, well, there are two personalities involved and, you know, we need to do the courtship game, you know, work our differences out, um, you know, understand each other. As soon as we're on the same page, I'll put my family in motion and I'll come out and do the right thing, sir. So. I'll have you know that your decision to both stay together at this stage of your relationship does not go down well with me. i also have you know that I do not have any intention to keep two grown-up adults like you apart under Durex. So I advise that um, you do the right thing and do it fast too. Okay? Yes, sir. I am point taken. I will um, hasten the arrangement. Good. Uh, one other thing. What is this thing I hear about sex scandal rocking the West African mega competition? Dad. Yes? How did you hear about this? I mean, he didn't even give me time to tell you about it when I came over yesterday. True. It's not a public issue yet. I want you to know that um, I've been in show business long enough to know what's going on around particularly when it concerns the artists that i manage well, well sir it's true well when it happened um, we decided it was perhaps in her best interest if um, she withdraws entirely from the competition oh. exactly my sentiment too well Venice, you will do exactly that no daddy no yes you will um there will be other opportunities to exhibit your talent. All right? Do let yourselves out when you are set. Was that necessary? Huh? Was it necessary? You took me to come here and get drilled by your father, huh? Well, how was I to know that he was going to come out like that? And besides, isn't it about time that we both start planning our wedding, huh? Plan? You don't get it, do you? This is to be discussed between two people, namely you and me, in private. What do you bring your family into it? Who am I getting married to, you or your family, huh? Jay. Venice, we need to talk. Oh, I don't know what we could possibly have in common that we can talk about right now. If only you just listen to me. I don't listen to your type, okay? I don't listen to your type. Besides, I don't even know what the hell I'm standing here talking to you. I don't like uninvited people coming up at me, okay? So why don't you take your nasty stuff and get the hell out of my house? Listen, you will listen to me, Venice. We need to talk about this silly insinuation of yours about me prostituting myself around town. What is up about that? Let me tell you something, girl. I do not insinuate, okay? You and I both know that that is your trademark, all right? So, you know what? Let me give you a piece of advice, all right? Do us women a favor. The next time you want to sell yourself so cheap, why don't you get a decent place and do it at? And not in an office. You know, Venice. 
you're right. I will do anything creatively possible to win a competition. But I will never debase my body. I will never compromise my own body. Now, if you believe that or not is irrelevant. What is relevant is you coming there from your high horse to realize that you and I do not stand a chance of getting to the finals fairly except we do something about it right now, Bennis. You didn't come here to call me a dumb head, did you? Uh, you know what? Get out of my house. You know, you're just a loser. What the hell did you just I say? You're a loser, Bennis. You've always been one. What is wrong with you? You think life is about this silly, bloated ego you carry about town and your so-called sexy buddy? You think that's what life is about? I can't believe all of you actually came here to insult me, right? Okay, let me see what you have. You think you're better than me? Is that what you think right now? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you tired of fighting yourself, Bennis? No, sometimes don't you even look stupid in your own eyes? Look, listen, I have a plan. I have a good plan. And if this competition is as important to you as it is to me, then you will listen to my plan. When you're ready, you know where to locate me. For now, good night. Go. you so long. Didn't you ever learn that it's very impolite to keep people waiting? Look, Bernice, I couldn't get their email addresses, okay? It took me some time. At least thank God you're here now. Here. But these are not complete. There are two girls remaining. My two friends. I'm leaving them out for personal reasons. Oh, so you can't even play straight with me, isn't it? Look, Bernice, I'm not about to argue about this now. Okay, I said I am, I'm leaving them out for personal reasons. Either you accept this or you leave it. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get it over with. Have you drafted the message? Well, duh. I bet you have eyes and you can see. Excuse me. The message is not complete. How is it not complete? Whatever. You cannot take it by force. Duke. 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 What is this emergency that we can't meet and discuss in either of our offices? I should be asking you. I came over here as soon as I got your message asking me to meet you here. This is strange. What is going on? Thank you, 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 can someone explain to me what in God's name is the meaning of this? <laughs> Not the three of you too. Someone should explain what's going on here. You'll get an explanation all right. Oh, Ryan. So this is your game. <laughs> your amorous secrets are just about to be exposed. So why don't you just sit down and enjoy the show? <laughs> Duke and King, so this is it, huh? I... Oh, quiet, you filthy scoundrel. If not for the fact that my company and I have invested so much money in this project, I would have withdrawn our sponsorship outright. 
Sorry, sir, it's not what you think. We can explain. Explain what? You keep quiet there. Ladies, my sincere apologies for everything. I too have been scandalized and I know what it is like to be subjected to this embarrassing ordeal. But you know something? It is all over now because I have taken over the coordination of the entire project and relieved them of their post. So, I crave your indulgence to please keep this unfortunate incident to yourself. No press interviews. Are we all in agreement with this? Okay, okay. <laughs> I will demonstrate my goodwill by making a deposit of 1,000 US dollars into your personal account first thing tomorrow morning. And an additional 5,000 US dollars for the four girls who will be able to make it into the finals. How about that? Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir, we are very sorry for the disappointment, sir. It's the work of the devil. Oh, quiet there. What devil? Listen, I've saved two of you from a major, major scandal. So you do yourself a favor and cooperate with my company lawyers to iron now the gray areas in this new arrangement. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Abel's conjurers. Thank you, sir. You know, side by side by a pig, I'd rather romance a swine than allow you stupid maggots call up my body. So how about us getting you two to at least strip for us so we can see what lies on the those cheap clothes of yours. <laughs> well girls, I hope you like the new package. But I can't hide the fact that I'm very disappointed in you all anyway. All the same, good luck. I am not fooled, you know. This still does not change the way I feel about you or the perception I have of you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting moment of the West African Mega Music and Dance Competition. I present to you our contestants, Fina, <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> Harriet, <laughs> Tricia, <laughs> Helen, <laughs> Nicole, Doris, <laughs> Julia, <laughs> Bella, <laughs> and the last but not the least, Ryan. <laughs> and then, lovely, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up once again for our contestants. Take a closer look at them, for one of these contestants will very soon become the next West African Bell Music and Dance Superstar. Please join me as I present on stage the sponsor and benefactor of the spread, Mr. Orlando Uwey. Uwey is the Chairman Chief Executive Director of Crystal Mega World Group Development I appreciate you all beautiful people coming here to spend this celebration with me and the Crystal Mega World 
group. It is a pleasure to announce to you that we have taken steps to elevate this competition to a level where it is going to become the top of Africa for a very long time to come, which has necessitated the taking over of this entire competition. So, Duke and K Consul cease to be the project managers of this competition. I wish to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to them for their drive and energy that has brought this competition to this height. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my company and I have taken steps to elevate this competition to the point where it's going to be a top of the town for a very, very long time to come by increasing the prize money to 5,000 US dollars. And this goes to the four girls who are going to scale all the hurdles and cruise into the finals. You haven't heard nothing yet, ladies and gentlemen. Please wait for the big one. It is a pleasure to inform you that apart from the whopping 100,000 US dollar winner of this edition of the West Africa Mega Music and Dance Competition is going to go home with a brand new Kia Sportage G. Thank you ladies and gentlemen and God bless you all. Gentlemen, like we told you earlier, this show is set using the very, very best of artists you can ever think of musically. And um, I'm sure your time here is not a waste at all. Hello. <laughs> I can see you both are actually very surprised that I'm still in the competition, right? How do you feel now that you discovered that all that you gave your bodies out so cheaply for was not even worth a dime in the first place? What were you thinking that I wasn't going to find out? I pulled the rug right under your feet. I did! And you know what else? I don't need you two cheap, low esteem girls as friends anymore. So like they say, adios and good radiance. I am going to make sure you regret this. You hear me? Look, look at you two big heads. You, you, you think you can get away with this disgrace? Look at Mark my words. You will not get away with yours. Bastard monkey. You actually think you can get away with this disgrace? Your performance out there was off the chain, spaced out. This thing is yours for the asking. Yeah, you did very, very well. In fact, better than what I put up last year. Really? Yeah. Thank you so I much. I don't see why you win this competition. Oh. Congratulations, girl. Thank you. I'm so Oh, listen, don't mean to intrude, but I just had to see your performance back there. Phenomenal. Thank you, thank you. Um, although I still feel like your girlfriend's um, performance was uh, off the hook. Oh, listen, Bernice has got nothing on you, for real. But I just want to say that. Listen, can I set up a meeting? <clears throat> hey, baby. I take an exception to this embarrassment, Jay. Oh, so you actually left us so you could talk to this thing? Come on, please. I'm just trying to get on the label. I'm trying to fix a meeting. Fine. 
I'm gonna cap home. No, 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 don't be like, babes, babes, come on. Yo, babes, stop. It's like so dust. Listen, I can't take that back. <clears throat> I really appreciate all the efforts you put into these things. I do. But I can't seem to get them past my throat. Well, what do you expect me to do? It's not like I haven't told you a million times that cooking is not one of my talents, but you keep bugging me with it. Babes, cooking is no one's talent. It's something you grow up on, you know? You to learn from someone you look up to, like your mother. Go ahead, insult my, my entire family, Jane. Babes, I'm not insulting your parents or your family. It's this constructive criticism. You get with it and you improve on it. That's how life is. I'm tired of eating outside with my woman all the time. I want real food. Well, I would not sit here and brood over my shortcomings when I need all the time in the world to build on my high points. Besides, you don't expect me to learn how to cook at this age. If you want a homemade meal, you can go and get yourself a maid. Sound like you can't afford one, you can afford hundreds of them. I don't believe the way you think sometimes. You really want people to cook my meals? All right, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to fight or anything like that. Just go get dressed. We'll go somewhere and eat as usual. Oh, lady, what are you doing? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Is this a silly joke or something? <laughs> what are you doing? How dare you try to molest my man? <laughs> are you crazy? This was one of an accident. Oh, please, Shay. This is not an accident. I know this went too well. Nothing about her is an accident. You listen, girl. This here is my man, so you stay the hell away from him. You hear? I swear to God, Ben, it's one of these days. One of these days. Did you have to embarrass me 
be a wacko. Oh, shut up! Shut up! And you were also there to keep your back away from her. You know what? Just be honest. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? Baby, are you okay? Huh? Yeah. I'm fine, I guess. What are you? No, this is the problem in the first place. I think this thing's making you dizzy. Jay, it's just an energy drink, okay? Yeah. I quite agree with Jay. Bernice, you're getting weaker by the day. <sighs> you see? I'm fine. I'm very fine. Sophia, can we please get back to rehearsing? Okay, so you stand here, and then, Jay, can you turn on the music? You're sure you're fine? Sapphire, I'm fine, seriously, I'm fine. I don't know what happened, but I'm very fine. Okay. Yeah. So, Jay. Don't worry, to be there in a second, babes. Okay. Okay, so you were doing the thing, like, you sure you're okay? Sapphire, I'm fine. <laughs> it's seriously, I'm fine. What are you panting for? I can hear all the way down here. <laughs> I'm just exercising, waiting. It's gonna take a lot of work to beat that girlfriend of yours. <laughs> yeah, Bernie's is quite a competition, I can tell you that. So hey, I didn't call about that. We're supposed to sit down, talk terms. What's up? Um, um you know, I would really appreciate if we could keep that till after the competition, you know. Like you rightly observe, I need a lot of concentration right now. That's if you don't mind. Alright then. But listen, whatever offer you get, we can top it. So don't forget I reached you first, okay? <laughs> sure thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll be back today. Alright, you too. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Oh, hey, babes. Who was that? Who's who? Oh! Somebody I'm trying to sign on the label. Be specific, Jay. That was wrong, isn't it? And don't you dare lie to me. What's this? You're sneaking up on me now? Oh no! Don't you slam the word sneaking at me, okay? You were the one that sneaked out of the house to make a phone call to a girl you know very well is my greatest enemy! My main competitor! believe you're chosen to play the spy on me. You sat there, watched my every move at the rehearsal, and you turn around and call her and let her know about it. What is wrong with you? You know you're becoming obsessed with this whole thing? You think I'll do something like that? That's ridiculous. Listen, that girl has got mad talent. If I reach her first, I'm going to make mad money. Why her, Jay? Why her? I mean, it's not like she's better than the other two girls that made it to the finals. Well, I don't exactly know what criteria the judges use to pick the girls. I know my criteria, it's the greens. I get to that girl first, that's what it's all about because of her talent. And she's definitely what Definite Records needs right now. You must think I'm very, very stupid and very, very dumb. I can see you've got other interests in that girl apart from what she can offer to your recording company. I saw the way you were lusting after her at the show. I know you're going too far with this shit. Oh no, Jay. 
No, Jay. No step is way too far where that harlot is concerned. And you, of all people, should know damn too well not to go flirting with her. I am not bad. Okay, you know, this is really beginning to worry me. Because I'm asking myself here, what is the motive? Is this just about the game, the competition? Or maybe there's something more. After all, the girl has displayed incredible you know, integrity and decency with the way she handled the sex scandal. So what's going on? Here, right. Decent indeed. Phil was my my first real love. Well, you know, I, I can relate with all that, but um, the thing here, babes, is it's different now. You need to learn to embrace your present and your future, not the past. Okay? Time has transpired. She must have changed. The only thing I'm interested in is that girl's talent, period. No, Jay. Jay, you have nothing to do with that girl, okay? Because I'm very sure there are zillion and one girls out there who have so much talent waiting to be discovered. You know what, Bernice? You know, I condone a lot of your bullshit. But the one thing you will not do is tell me how to take my decisions. Alright? Jay, don't you dare walk out of here. somewhere else because this table is already taken <laughs> you know I really don't know why I keep running into you everywhere I go or should I say you're the one running after me now oh tell me something you cheap dirty prostitute I mean must you sleep with every other pig before you can win any other competition I mean must you go so shamelessly low Bernice let this be the last time the very last time in your miserable life that you would ever call me a prostitute. And I'm really getting tired of your insult, you know. Oh, I will call you a prostitute as many times as I want because that's exactly what you are. You know, you're just as desperate as those other fools. You will do anything to win a competition and you can't even face me in a real distinct competition. But let me tell you something. Let me nail this into your dumb skull. That no matter how many men or how many fools that you guys grace your filthy beds, I will beat you guys to the first prize. And you know why? Because I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Dude. Very, very suspicious. What the hell are you doing here again? Bernice. God. What do you mean you're being suspicious? Of what? My cousin stays. Why the hell do I even have to explain anything to you anyway? 
I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to crawl your way into my man's heart. That's what you're trying to do. What? Yeah, you can pretend all you can. You know, I don't even understand why the hell you lodged out around this place, even though you don't stay here. You're stalking my man. You know you've gone raving mad, Benis. You've lost it. Why would you make such an accusation? Oh, I will show you the true meaning of madness, Rhyme. You know, if you dare ever dream of messing around with Jay, I will show you what it's like to be in competition with me, Ichiyo. You want to watch me rehearse? Why would you come to my house? How did you know I'm rehearsing? I'm, I'm not rehearsing. You're not? No. You know, despite everything um, Bernie said about you, I know you're a serious minded person and it's so easy to know what you're doing anytime. You know, Jay, I, I've never for one moment bothered about what anybody thinks about me. You know, the impression they have of me or images or whatever, I've never bothered about that. Ideas about me, really, I just like to be myself, so... Well, it's a good thing, you know, absolutely. I mean, look at the way you pulled the rock right under the feet of those two maniacs. That was phenomenal. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, actually, Beyonce had some parts in that, so she should take some credit for that also. Good. She's beautiful and humble too. All right, let's get this show on the road. I want to watch. No, um, Jay, you know, I really don't think this is a good idea right now. I mean, you know, I, I told you to please, you know, wait till after the competition for us to talk about business, you know? Yeah, but I don't have business. You could say that I like to keep my potential artist in perspective. <laughs> um, I'm sure I would not go down well with your thing now, because... Um... Well, the truth is, I think Bri's never come to me on business. She hasn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Um, maybe I'm just one bad influence she doesn't want around any of her interests right now. You know, as it is right now, your girlfriend distrusts me around any man she knows, even those she doesn't know. So I... Uh, Jay, you know, you're, you're actually distracting me right now, so I think you should... I guess I was distracted now. You're burning up. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's, it's just slight fever, I guess. It's a slight fever. Oh, Jay, I'm fine, okay? Will you stop this? Stop taking this crap. Find out that could be the problem. Jay, I said I'm fine. Well, you're running a dump. Oh, my God, we're going to the hospital. No, Jay, listen. Babes, no, no, I'm. Look, there's more time for that. I need to rehearse, okay? Well, you need to get rehearse. just days away. I know. No, Jay, I'm. Trust me, you need to go. Come on, come on. I'll bring you back in time to be out, okay? Okay, 
the shaky man. Listen, you must refrain from taking any more energy drink. You've had too much of it and it has weakened your nerves. I suggest that uh, you take a lot of rest and keep off all rigorous activities for the next two weeks, okay? No, Doctor, that is so not possible. I mean, I've got just two days before the competition. I need to rehearse. Look, you should be more concerned about your health. The way things are now, you are on the verge of a nervous breakdown. So I advise that you forget about that competition completely, okay? It's for your own good. I hope you will help her keep to my structure. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. You heard him? Please. You're not doing this. You're not doing it. Just got two days. You're not doing well. Listen to me. Bernice, listen to me. This is not a good time to get stubborn. We're talking about your health here. The doctor said you cannot participate in this competition because you know well. That's easy to understand. Well, Jay, you cannot stop me from participating in that competition. Plus, I've worked my ass really, really hard for it. And I'm this close, Jay, this close to winning the prize. Jay, I think you're overreacting. She rested the whole of yesterday and she's good to go now. Just today and everything will be over. Listen, last time I checked, you were not her doctor. Stay out of this. Babes, come on. Alright? You don't have to go. Jay, are you gonna come with me to cheer me up or what? Look, I don't have much time. Oh. Alright, let me change into something decent. Right, I'll be waiting for you in the car. Blame you squarely for this, Jay. How could you allow her to take part in that competition in spite of all my warning? <laughs> Look, I spent close to 30 minutes battling to save her life. You don't know how stubborn she is, Doc. She is unbelievably stubborn. I did everything I could to stop her. Is she going to be okay? She's lucky. Now let's see how she won't take that rest I earlier suggested. Besides, you should be proud of the fact you gave it your best, okay? No, Jay, I didn't give him my best. I didn't give him my best. I mean, how can you say I gave him my best when that network took my victory? Oh, come on. You gave it your best. No, That's what you're proud of. There'll be other opportunities. No, you... Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Dennis, how are you doing? Um, I'm here to see if you're all right now. Oh, you nasty little bitch. You know, you actually have the guts to walk in here and mock me. Bernice, I'm not here to mock you. I just want to see how your health is. You shameless hypocrite. You sh you know, you actually wish I was dead so you can sneak in here and grab my man. That's what you want. Bernice. You think I don't know your game? You shut up. What's wrong? No, you shut up. You know, you two don't fool me with your little game. And as for you, Ryan, nothing is over between us. You know, there was no competition. I want you to get the hell out of my house. What? You heard me. I said get out. I'll handle it. I will handle it. I got this. Um, listen, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Happy now? Oh, shut the hell up, Jay. Shut the hell up. You know, you better watch it because you're really getting fun of that girl for my liking.
By yesterday, I know you didn't mean it. You meant well. It's okay. I know you're just trying to be a good spokesperson for your fiance. You know, you're the best public relations officer she could ever find. <laughs> well, truthfully, I did not realize the kind of image laundry that girl needed until lately. Mm, don't complain now. She's your fiance. Oh well, thank God for small <laughs> You know, talking about Benny's and that competition, I am so frustrated about it all. I mean, Benny's was the reason I worked so hard. I just desperately wanted to prove to that girl that I could win her in any competition fair and square. I mean, she put that much in my face all the time. And then all of a sudden, she wasn't there. <laughs> well, the competition is over. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Now, more to the present. What about my proposition? Um, Jay. Look, I have a lot of offers now. Believe me, as I speak with you, the chief executive officer of Climber Records on my trail. So you're going to ditch me? Of course not. It's not like I'm not trying to ditch you. It's just. Jay, this is the opportunity I've always craved for. But I got to you first, right? Come on, let's be fair here. Now, Defner Records may not be as big as these other international labels, but we have truth. We have potentials just like you. Okay? You have the best potential I've seen in anyone in a long, long time. Best? I thought you said Benice was the best. The best is relative. <laughs> Just, I mean, after what I saw at the finals, I'm telling you, even if Bernice was 10 times on top of her game and 10 times fitter, she would match that performance. I'm telling you. Whoa, that is massive. <laughs> wow. JJ, you know you're a good man. And I, I think you're always very fair. So no, I'm not trying to fly away from you. It's just that if I'm ever going to consider your offer, then you really have to step up your package. What? I was just thinking that, um, talking about packages. You know how much I like you, don't you? <laughs> JJ, what part of this is the record deal? Just come on. I know how strongly I feel for you. You know it. There's nothing to pretend about. Look, Jay, stop, stop. Please stop. Look, don't pull that kind of stunt you pulled at me the other time, okay? Just stop it right now, please. You know, I actually think we should just to get what? back to business, you know, look. Like... What business? You're a strange way talking. Jay, you know. What do I have to say to you, Nicole? I already made it very clear to you that you are a bad influence in my life right now. Fine, I know how much of a disappointment I am to you right now, but I am sorry. 
Yes, sorry. Sorry, Nicole. No, what were you thinking? Sorry about what now? Sorry for me or sorry about yourself? Okay, fine. I... I think I was desperate and... I was low, you know, I went so low. Shamelessly. But girl, you have to admit that I stood no chance against you and that big-headed snob. I wanted to win. And who didn't want to win? So you go ahead and sell yourself cheaply? Why? $100,000 is not cheap, right? Do you know what that kind of money could do to a girl with my background? It was not anything. It was nothing personal, okay? Really? I'm sorry, I meant no harm. So, Bella and you went ahead and had a plan. I, I really need to ask you, what was the plan, really? Was it that both of you were going to split the money in half? You know, you take one half and she takes one half. Was that your plan? What was it? Well, I had my plans for the finals and I'm, I'm sure she had hers and of course we're both planning and boom, you won. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're very happy about that because it, it was my dream too. I mean, I'm sure by now the record companies are all this no, Nicole, do you really call this a win? I mean, for Christ's sake. Bennett was the reason I worked so hard. I really didn't have to prove to that twat rival of mine that I could win her fairly. And then she just didn't show up. And I'm so pissed about this whole thing. Girl, bottom line, you won. Okay? So I'm not even going to pretend about that like I am not envious of you or something like that. I am. You won. So where's Bella? Well, naturally we fell out. Uh, I think she has relocated back to just to join her parents. Girl, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, sit. Thank you. I forgive you, okay? I forgive you. But, I mean... Seriously, Nicole, you have a lot of proving to do. You have to make me trust you again. Seriously, you have to prove a lot of things to me. I know that. No, I'm serious. I can't I don't think I can trust you that easily anymore. I miss Stop. you. God, you miss me. I need really you miss me. I need you. I need you. <laughs> so that's what are you been up to? <laughs> you have no idea what happened to me. What's going on? See I Oh my god, girl, you're ahead of me. This is really nice. Nice collection, eh? Oh my this one. Well, I'm talking next week. Hey, look, I am I'm really, really hungry and I was wondering if we could go out and have something to eat. Honey, I'm talking to you. Jay. Hello. What is on TV that's more important than me, Jay? Move. Are you okay? I said move.
my hello. Listen, I don't mean to study you, but um, you look gorgeous. How did you get into my house? Where are you coming from at this time of the night, Jay? From the studio? Liar! I just drove back from there. You drove back from my studio? Well, which of the studio, Jay? You know, if you look at the time, you're obviously going to realize how late it is. And for a well-mannered woman, the first thing she's going to ask if a man has eaten. So they're just standing there looking like a scarecrow and nagging him to death. Oh, so now I'm nagging. I see. You're already sleeping with her, aren't you? Say what? Stop. Stop. Go. Can you? Sorry. So um, why have you not been picking my call? Because I only pick calls of people I want to talk to. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I've set the ball rolling already. I've had a word with my lawyers and um, we've drawn the initial contract. I believe you want to come with your lawyers as well, say on Wednesday to my office, and then we get this thing over with. You know, Jay, that won't be necessary right now. I don't think I want to have anything to do with your record label anymore. Not now, and probably not in the distant future. So, you know. What is wrong with you? Hmm? Excuse me? Yeah, what's wrong you with you? You heard me. Look, Jay, it's very obvious that you have allowed those silly insinuations your girlfriend's been having about me get into your head. So you think I'm some whore that you could just walk up to and act up like some Mr. Nice Guy and then swim into her heart easily. Let me warn you, Jay, I take very seriously to anybody trying to harass me. And what I think you're doing with me right now is sexual harassment, so just watch it. Are you listening to yourself? Why are you bringing emotions into this context? I am this is not business. done yet. Let me warn you. Keep your distance, Jay. I will fight you with the same passion I have fought everybody that ever tried to sexually harass me. I will fight you. Stay away from me, Jay. Stay away from me. What's that all about? Can you believe that this bugger wants to date me? What? <laughs> what does he want for you and Bernice to finally kill each other? Is this serious? You know, I don't know his point. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, he's kind of handsome and rich and... Handsome and rich? No, I was talking about the record, in the record contract. So what has been rich? got to do with the recording contract. Whatever, Nicole. Look, as it is right now, I have a lot of offers coming in from the U.S. Over four offers coming in from the U.S. By the time I'm done with the deal, they would have given me something more than he could ever offer me anyway. Ten times over. What do I want to do with him? Girl, you, you know how 
you're always encouraging, telling me how much talent I have, you know. I was wondering if you could put in a mm -hmm. Nicole. Sorry. is dead, okay? Help Ryan look at me, look at me. I know how much pain you felt when he died. But that's all in the past. You have to come to terms with the past and move on with your life. Henry was my life. A big part of me went with him when I died. I always lose those men in my life that I love. Look at my father. Why, Nicole? And I'm sure they don't want you to spend the rest of your life in misery. Okay? Uh, to me, this JJ looks serious about you. Why don't you give him a chance? Okay. As a start. But it's not just about JJ and I right now. What about Bernice? Bernice is not his wife. Little wonder he's looking for them. I mean, who could put up with that girl with her attitude under the same roof? Bottom line, he likes you. He wants you. Ask him. That is all that is important. That's all. Just give him a chance. You think so? I think so. Oh. All right. I like you a lot, Jay. I would really like to date you. But you're already taken. I don't want to start another kind of war with Dennis. It is you that I want. You don't understand, Jay. What she feels for me is deeper than you know. I know. I just don't know what happened between both of you. You do? Phil? 
Who's that? Are you seeing someone else? I thought you said I was the only one. You seeing somebody else? Would you talk? Feel? It was my first love. It hurt. It really hurt. Then I met Henry. He was my first true love. Then he died in the plane crash. I always lose them, Jane. I always lose them. When it comes to love, I'm just not fortunate. But you're wrong. Listen to me. Love is not about fortunes. Love is about life. So when you sit down on the table with love, sometimes Gives you a good hand, and you think you're born to win. But sometimes it gives you a really bad hand. I hate to think your world is caving in. But the one thing that's constant with life are chances. I feel this is another chance for you to love. Just let me love you. Do I know you truly deserve? How about Venus? Do you still love her? jealous for this. Okay, well, now that you started messing around town with that nonentity, do spare me some resources because my birthday is next week and I want to celebrate in a grand style. Here, I made my list. One point five million. Isn't that rather too much for one that just sits around the house and does absolutely nothing? What the hell is that supposed to mean, Jay? Listen. It means you need to sit up and start doing something for yourself. 
You know, if there's anything you want to tell me, I'd rather you come out straight. Or have I become a burden to you? No, babes, you're not a burden to me. That's the least of the problem. You're a burden to yourself. I'm telling you, except you sit up, the tide is going to roll by you. What tide? Look, Jay, like I said, seriously, if there's anything you need to let me know, I'd rather you come out straight and let me know. Instead of throwing all of these unnecessary tantrums, I mean. I've said my piece. Jay. Look. Seriously. I mean, after all the preparations I made for that competition, what I need right now is a birthday party. To so at least take my mind off the whole disappointment. Jay, seriously, I do need this party. Please. You get your party, Bernice. Because you know I can well afford it. But I'll tell you something. The tide is seriously drifting by you. And I mean it. Jay! I don't think you have any idea what you're getting me to. What the hell is that supposed to be? Dina, you know, as regards the, the recording building I told you about, um, putting finishing touches to it. Oh, so it's true, you really are seeing this girl? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that thing, you know, I've been seeing that for the, for the record thing, you know, the, the papers are in the car. Um, what are you doing? I don't know why they are never satisfied with one woman. And after all the love that I give to him, he knows very well that that prostitute is my enemy. That's the most annoying part of it. He should have shown you some respect and go for someone else if he wanted to frolic about town recklessly. No, she lured him. Oh. That for a fact I know. That slimy crab wants to snatch my man away from me like what she did back then in the university. Bernice, stop it. Stop. Stop giving excuses for him. He is a man. He is a man. He should be able to control his brains from jumping out through his pants recklessly. She'll pay for this. I will make her pay for this. Even if it costs me my lost blood, she'll pay.
I see you can't keep that thing that keeps itching you from under your pants closed. It is my man you want to chop with this time, isn't it? <laughs> Why, I swear. I swear to God, I will wish you if you ever get an inch closer to Jay again. Guys, I don't think she's gotten the message. Make sure it sinks into her damn skull. House, Jay. And after all the heartache you've caused me, you actually stand here and try to call that girl. You haven't seen the last of me. Lunatic, get away with this. You know what you should do? Get her arrested. That's what you should do. Nico, that is not necessary. It's not. That girl has just started a personal competition and I. She has just given me a reason not to mess up badly. And I'm done with that cockroach. That you know, cheat on me. I thought you said that you loved me, but nowadays you treat me. You treat me like I'm nothing but a piece of rock. Is Ryan better than me just because she won an ordinary competition that I didn't have the chance to properly compete in? Well, it's nothing like that, babes. I'm just. I'm just confused. You know, it wasn't like this in the beginning, and you're so sweet and so. I could tell you anything. And then all the fighting and the constant violence just draws apart, and I was craving for quiet, calm up, calm up. And in this situation, you have a rhyme, drew me more to her, and opened my eyes, and that was what happened. I just couldn't deal with the drama anymore. Jay, if this is about the recording contract, I'll sign the first thing. If that will make you happy. If you still don't get it, it's not about contract. You're just looking for a short court. It's about emotions here. 
input output is what you give me I give back that's how it works I'm confused right now I know you really are confused Jay I love you I love you so very much You always remember that. surreal came up tonight you know you guys are not all here just to witness birthday party um, you're also here to witness something really surreal something really intense it's also a night where I announce the engagement between my Think you embarrassed me? Well, guess what? You embarrass yourself as well. Really? I didn't think I did anything out of place, Jay. Actually, I think I did what I needed to do under the circumstances I was given. I told you to give me some time to sort things out with her. Oh yeah? Sort things out with her? And I guess we're sorting out things with her by throwing an elaborate party for her. Jay? You know, Jay, it's okay. I'm not offended. So where were you for one week? One whole week. Your phones were switched off. I was going crazy with worry. I needed to get away. I had too many things in my head I needed to clear. I needed to think. <sighs> what is wrong with you, Jay? Look. I love you. We pledged our hearts to each other. Why is that so difficult for you to see, Jay? I'll do anything for you. I would fight for you. Why are you doing these things to me? Seriously, I'm not comfortable with this you're giving. I mean, it's, it's so dangerous. You could end up hurting Jay as, as well. Uh, trust me, Nico. I know exactly what I'm doing. Look, Jay is traveling first thing tomorrow morning for a copyright conference. And it's going to be gone for two days. That's enough to do what I have in mind.
Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello, is that Bennis? Uh huh, yeah, who's this? Okay, I'm coming from the hospital again, there's an emergency. Mm -hmm. Your parents just had a fatal accident. I, I thought I should just tell you so you can come quickly. What? Oh, oh my goodness, what, what happened? Which hospital? Can you come straight to Louis Hospital in GRA? Please hurry, you have some documents to sign. Oh my goodness! What's wrong? My, What's wrong? my, my parents, uh, she, she said my parents have had an accident. They are in Louis Hospital, GRA. Oh my goodness! I'm done with the SIM card. That's it. I just hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Just watch my back, okay? Um, madam, good afternoon, though. I just spoke with your boss now. He said I should wait for him. She means just driving out now. Uh, so I saw them on the way. They said I should wait. Okay. Show you down any problems. Mm.
Lucky me, you're actually sitting right there. So, how do you like your new look? You... You did this to me! Of course! Come on now, who are you hoping would have done this? Somebody else? Ah, nah. Mwah. I did it. You know, that's devil beans right there. Itches and all that swells up every one hour. I'm actually looking forward to seeing the boy's face when he gets back, you know? Seeing you like this and all that. I'd like to see what he thinks. Not a pretty side, I must tell you. Ooh. Oh, come on. Let it out. Let out the steam. Cry. Come on, weep. Like the baby you are. Come on. Mm. Of course not. Always put together. <laughs> What's wrong with your face? Yo, B, did you get into a fight? Huh? Um, you know, babies, it's really not important, okay? Um, hey, I'm very happy that you're home. I am so sorry I couldn't come and get you from the airport. You're right, right. So what's wrong with your face? Why are you wearing a funny veil? Um, it's, it's not important. Well, I think it is. Take it off. No, I said it's not important. I said take it off. Jay, I said no, okay? Okay. I miss you, baby. What? What was that? an express graduation of your madness? What do you think you're going with that bag? If you were not retarded, Venice, it would be obvious to you that I'm moving in. I'm here to keep a very close eye on my man, so move. I can't believe it. Ryan? Yeah. Hey, Jay. Hi, darling. Listen, this is making this whole thing complicated. Come on. Come Jay, on. you are one hell of a disappointment. I can't, what? I know you're dying of jealousy right now, and you really do have a right to, in fact, choke on it. But in the meantime, I want to let you know that your bruised days are over. So get out of my way. Oh, you are not going anywhere. Over my dead body, girl. You are not stepping foot into this house. Why would I want to step foot into this house over your dead body? I want you to be alive and see it with your two naked eyes, okay? Enjoy it. Get out of my way. Well, I am not letting you into this house. I said move. This is my house and I'm not letting you inside. Jay. Oh, you're not talking. Excuse me. Girl, look, uh, seriously, I want you to take your bag, sit in your car and drive up, okay? I said, You're not welcome here. I don't want you in this house. What the hell? Will you go? Go, go. What the hell do you think you're going? Oh my goodness. No, oh my goodness, you are not. Look, look, look. I don't want to start a fight here, okay? I don't want to get physical with you. Just get your bag, sit in your car and drive up because you are not welcome into this house. Okay, we'll stay here.
Jay, get up. Jay, get up. What now? Bernice, get out. Look, baby, I have no intentions of moving into this room yet. But till we decide whose rightful place it is to stay here, I will not stay here and she will not stay here either. So get out. How dare you? How dare me? Yes, how dare you? Get out of this room right now. You think I'm joking, right? Okay. What? 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 Just calm down, let me sort things out. There's nothing for you to sort out, Joe. What you really do is to go and throw that bitch out of this house before I can allow you to have peace. Look, if there is anybody to be thrown out of this house, it should be you, Les Maker. What is wrong with you? And maybe you should know when to stop and move on with dignity before she becomes a mop. I cannot believe this, Jay. I cannot. You see how long you seduced me to imagine that you're supposed to not get from this nasty ass bitch. Why don't you guys just shut up and stop acting like kids? Let's resolve this thing. Oh, shut the hell up, Jay. Shut the hell up. You know, Brian. This is it. You regret your shadow ever crossing my path, idiot. Are you going away? Why are you running away so soon? What if I come back here? Jay? Baby, I think it's time you return back to your house. You want me to go back to my house? Jay, why do I have to be the one to go back to my house? L listen, I'm, I'm going crazy up in here. The way you guys are going, someone's going to end up dead very soon. Nobody's going to wind up dead, Jay. What is wrong with you? Back me up. That's all I need you to do. Back me up. I can handle that thing. Okay? I am here to hasten her departure from your life. Just back me up. Oh, I'm sick and tired of this shit. I'm sick and tired of this shit. What's wrong? 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 You were warned that you stubbornly walked out on us in this house. So come with that war. What have you cried back here for us to do? To weep for you? Well, everything was going on fine until that stupid girl showed up. And now she wants to push me out of my own fiancé's house. Mm. Everything was going on fine indeed. Yet you are crying. 
things only go on fine in the matrimonial home of those who are legally married. Not for those who are mere attachments. Mom, I can't believe this. All I want is, is your support right now and not all of this talk. I don't support nonsense. Pray your father doesn't meet you in this house. Because you will get more than this. Mommy. This is my personal problem and I'll take care of it myself. You actually think life depends on when you decide to strike or retreat, huh? You think you're that hot? You think you have the power to hire those cheap thugs to come beat me up at will? Anytime you feel like, and I'm supposed to keep quiet like a fool and take it all in. You actually think I'm dumb? If you want to fight, Bernice, if you really want to fight, and you know you're not a coward, come fight me, one on one, girl to girl. But I guess you can't. Well, how the mighty have fallen. I guess this whole episode will not make sense to you now. Because it will not sink in, like you said the other time. Then, help her out. Make it sink in. <laughs> you know, I can actually make them beat you to stupor right now. Yeah. Beat you so hard and cripple you or something. So you can use clutches. Or maybe a wheelchair. <laughs> I could do that. But I'm so much better than you. I'm not like you. You know what? Just kneel down. I said kneel down. Can't you hear her? <sighs> Raise up your hands and close your eyes. Are you deaf? Look at you. The terrorist. You know, I really have nothing to say to her. I'm not going to do anything. Let her just go. Now listen. Look at me. We are the wind. And whatever direction we blow, we choose. You can't find us. We will certainly find you. Should your retarded talks touch even a true round of her hair? <laughs> you are dead. It's girl to girl, you and her. Now get out of my sight. Get out! And you, and you. Yeah, get out! You know, girls, I really want to say thank you so much. No sweat. We owe your cousin our loyalty. Should they try? to step across the line please give us a buzz no 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 please <laughs> i wouldn't need to call you again i'm so sure of that you guys gave her a shove and i'm sure she will never try with me again hope so 
really but i really must say thank you so uh, much yeah. no, thank you no, 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 drive okay. out just drive out so okay yeah. i can go right yeah we'll be behind you we'll be right behind you thank just you to love you and yet inflict such pain. If you ask me, these girls are just lunatics. What the kind of headache you need? Hey? It's truly a name. You bought yourself this all about? Nothing. Just fruits that I picked up along the way. Just something for you to eat. Why, girlie, should people have to, you know, turn his head, put it on the dam, to settle and, to settle his call? Nicole, what are you doing here? Oh, actually, um, I, you didn't expect me to come to the war zone to look for you, did you? Naturally, I, I expected you to be here. So why didn't you call me? I mean, what happened to your phone? Oh, you know the networks. It was sorry. It was Sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The doctor says you can leave here tomorrow. I have so much work to do. I know. You need to get back to the studio, right? Hey, I brought some food for you. Yeah. Okay. Could you could you thank Nick for me? She she brought me some foods as well. Oh. Uh, actually, it's just um something I picked by the gate. Just foods. It's behind you. Foods. Okay. Can I have the foods first before I eat?
vanishing gleam. Mm-hmm. Walks just like magic. Oh yeah, baby. Look, quit trying to get out of that chair. You couldn't even if you tried any harder. Oh. Do you know that I could drown you in that pool right now? Yeah, right now, right there. But guess what? For some reason, I don't want to. I choose to be very, very nice tonight. I don't even know why myself. So, you thought you were the nastiest bitch in town, right? Wait till I'm done with you. Hello, Nicole. Hi, babe. Nicole, listen, can you do me a favor tonight? I need you to come right here urgently. Yeah, to my boyfriend's house. Mm-hmm. Can you? Good. Please. Yeah, be fast as possible. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. All right, thank you. Bye. Enjoy. Just try and have fun. Oh, wow. Ryan, how dare you? How dare you? Just shut up. Come. Ah! Mm. What a beautiful Ryan. day. Ryan, I'm telling you, don't get me out of this chair right now. Ryan. Ah. Beautiful weather, beautiful water, beautiful night. Everything is just beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful bitch. Oh my goodness. What is the audience? Look around you, darling. There's some garbage that needs to be disposed of. Garbage? Mm-hmm. Why is it taking you so long? Oh, right there. Mm-hmm. Guess what, darling? Don't tell me. Oh, yeah. Used and rotten. Of no use, out. Right, get me out of here. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, sister, can you give me a hand? Don't just stand there and help the sister out. Of course, I right. sure will help. Okay. Right, I'm telling you to get him out of this chair. No, I will get you out. Get me out of this chair! Relax, relax. Okay, so that's how to Where am I supposed to take this? Oh! Right, get me out of this chair! Oh! Hey, hold your breath. You'll make it easier for us, okay, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Oh, the girls be easy. Okay, darling. Okay. Bernie? Bernie, what are you doing outside in the chair? Oh, you don't have the slightest idea, Jay. I am stuck in this bloody chair. It's all your bloody fault. What, are you kidding? Well, get up and get inside the house. I am stuck in this chair. Can you see? Shut up and get up. Uh, You're stuck. Well, duh, I just told you that. Well, who did this to you? Who could possibly do this to you? Huh? I can't believe this. You're actually asking me that question? What well, isn't it obvious? Go, you need to calm down. Let me think. <sighs> My goodness. I can't believe this. <sighs> Stop struggling. Okay. I need to get out of this town right now. Well, okay, so let me see you get out. This is stupid, man. You know my neighbors have seen this shit. I've been a minute. Okay. <sighs> Just shh. Oh man, this is me, man. This is it. This is it. This is it. Hello? Um, listen, I, um, I need to talk to Dr. Linus real quick. Well, tell him it's definite. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Um, listen, 
I have a situation right here. No duck, nobody's sick, I'm but but <laughs> you have to oh, come here real okay. quick, okay? You, you think this is very funny, right? <laughs> He's laughing too. <laughs> Don't touch me. Hear me? Don't ever. Me. They're driving you slowly to your grave, aren't they? Listen. I don't know what you want. How is this any of your How's this any of your business in anyway? Well, it's it's not as if I want anything from you. I I don't. I just want to give you the comfort that a nice guy like you truly deserves. Sorry for you. You are nice. Good. If you don't feel sorry for me, then why don't you take your comfort and show it? do I get back at that imbecile? You know, I feel like I should just kill her. I mean, that would be murder. And I don't see how that will help your cause. Hand her over to the police. Make her spend all that money she now thinks she's got. No. This is woman to woman. I must get my own pound of flesh. Look, you don't look like you're winning this crazy battle, girlfriend. Put a final end to the whole barbarism. If Jay is not man enough to guarantee your place in his heart, then walk. I mean, he's not the only legible bachelor in this world. No, I can't keep moving on from one man onto the other. I lost a man once to Ryan, and I'm not prepared to lose another one to her this time. I mean, I just don't like the way things are going right now. It doesn't really look good. At all. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. Hi. Um, you know, can you help me out with the ointments on my back? My entire back is on fire. Please.
Jake. Look, you're not stepping out of this house until you sort it out with insanity once and for all. Listen, I need to get out of here. I'm pissed with this shit. It's raining. The whole world is turned upside down. Get out of my way. Get out. Are you deaf or something? Are you deaf? I'm telling you that you have to go in and sort that bitch out of the house. I don't care. Don't you get it? Don't dare me. All right? Oh, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, you've already done your worst by bringing in a high killer. That's what you've done. Give me oh, don't you dare me. Don't dare me. You are not okay. All right, stay here. Yo, get your crazy ass out of my way! You're not moving? You know what? Why don't you crush me? Crush me right here, right now! Let me die so we can end this all! Okay, you know what? Don't move. Just stay with me, okay? My things, my things. Did you make a mistake? That, those are my things. Darling, I did not make a mistake. These are the things of the two witches that are not in my house. What? You cost me enough misery. Are you? You brought the wrong witchcraft. Both of you are. Get out of my house. I can't believe it. No, Jason. No. Get your house. Jason. Just go nowhere. Let's go. What are you doing? Come here. Stop it right now. Stop it. Come here. Come here. You don't have to be nasty to me, you know. What do you want? Jay, you must think me cheap, me following you all over town. Well, you're an individual and you're entitled to your own opinion, but the truth of the matter is that I am me. I don't pretend to be what I am not. Where's this whole conversation leading to? You better be quick, because believe me, throwing people out is becoming a hobby. Well, I, I understand that you're in an emotional state right now. That hooking up with someone or someone following you all over town is certainly not what you know you should be involved with. I know that, but. Believe me, that's not what I want. I only want to be your friend, Jay. Seriously. Have I ever given you the impression that I, I wanted something else? Jay. I know the state you're in. Okay? I mean, your heart has just been torn apart by two girls. But, well... What beats me is why you couldn't just stay with one. Why? Wait, 
was squeezing. Now everything turned out like this. Bernice was different. She was such a sweet little girl. We had a lot of fun together. I just don't understand the angry, violent stranger she became. And then before I knew I was searching again. And then Rhyme came. I was focused, calm, a caring, very kind person. Just what I was looking for. And then I led into my life, my home. And the veil dropped, and, and I found I was just as angry and as bitter and as Bernice, even more. up with both of them. But now I'm even as more confused as ever. Bottom line, they are both bitches. But you could see that. Well, Jay, this is what I know for sure. That there's a little bit of a bitch in every girl. Just like there's a little bit of a bastard in every man. There's no such thing as the perfect man or the perfect girl. But what is important is the heart. That's the bottom line. Well, that's me and that's all I know for sure. And... I'm sorry about the way you feel right now, okay? I'll turn on now. Bye.
please. He's obviously not yours. I know. I won't let go. I love Jay. I love Jay with all of my heart. See why I didn't want to let my heart out in the first place. You've taken the sunshine out of my life, Jay. Yet I can't deal with the darkness. I can't sleep. And I can't even stay awake. I'm very troubled, Jay. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? You made me fall in love with you. And now you want it to end like this? Why, Jay? I love you. Can't you even think about all the good times we had together? Listen, I, I, I might not have been the perfect girl for you, but um, I'm very, very, very sure that you know that I really, really love you, and I'm ready to learn. So I hope that you don't keep hurting me anymore, because I truly, really love you. Jay. I'm really, really confused at this point. I feel strongly for both of you. Really, I do, but I don't know what to do now. I can't handle this drama in my life anymore. I just can't. Miriam Makeba, Onyeka Owenu, Angelic Kijo, Shadiadu, Yvonne Chaka Chaka. You too can become like these great African idols of all times. Here's your chance to participate in the first ever African Idol musical dance competition, Idol Africa. First prize, $200,000 plus a recording deal with Island Records. Log on to www.idolafrica.org for details. Um, okay. All right then. Let's settle this once and for all. If you think you're better than me, you can both partake in that competition. And then if you beat me, you can have Jay. Deal? Deal? Bring it on. Deal. Okay. We'll still wait. So, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm just leaving. Are you here to eat? Yeah, yeah. So, you want to join me? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, actually, I'm on my way to an advertising agency. You know, I do TV modeling here and there to oh. keep the body and soul together. Well, that explains all the fly outfit. I really did. <laughs> there you go, flattery. But thank you. Right. Thank you. Ooh, I'm keeping you away from your lunch. Sure, listen, it was so, nice to see you again. Okay. Yeah, you too. All right. um, uh, Jay, please, yeah. I forget. Um, how do you feel now that your heart has been mortgaged by the two women slugging it out on the stage? 
Who do you think will win? You know, seriously, I don't know the answer to that question. Seriously. But I know how I feel. I feel stupid. You don't say that. You're not stupid, okay? <laughs> yeah, I am again giving you from your lunch. Okay, you go ahead. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, Sula. You take it. Good luck, okay? to do all it takes. 